We've been looking for, for a place like this for many years. Two, one, two, a ribbon cutting and a celebration unfolding at Morgan's Wonderland. Now just Morgan's because they are stepping up for a great need. A lot of us take for granted getting our hair cut. But at Morgan's, the, peop the, the children with special needs realize just how stressful this can be, and so do their parents. Okay, so now they have a place where they can go. This place is called Morgan Salon. It's a special place where people with special needs can get things like their hair and their nails done, and you're about to get a look inside. We've been looking for, for a place like this for many years. Two. We're opening Morgan Salon, which is an ultra accessible, fully inclusive salon. Those with and without special needs can come here and get their haircut done, get a manicure or pedicure. We've been to other salons in the past and they tend to be too noisy, they, like they play videos and, and there's other kids running around screaming, partying. Our experience having an haircut prior to this was to tell the hairdresser, please try to go somewhere that's okay. And then if he's in a good day, try to make it better. This was by far the best haircut and probably the fully furnished haircut that he ever got. Myself, I was relieved that he didn't have a tantrum, that he had a good experience. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think the mom was generally proud of the way he looked. Proud of the way he looked. After, after so many battles, there were people, parents that were saying they drive all the way to Austin so they can find a place where their child feels safe, where they want one of these haircuts, manicures. I mean, you, you saw uh, the children there and some of the kids there that were getting their hair washed and just things that so many of us take for granted. Morgan's stepping up there. I love that. And you know, I, my nephew has autism and yep. he's three years old. He hasn't been able to get a haircut. And I think about things like that because what they talked about there is that they don't have time constraints mm -hmm. to work with the kids. And right. so that's really important. So they get to really, you know, spend their time with them. So they're comfortable. Yeah, Morgan says such great things for our community. So mm -hmm. it's wonderful to see that as well. And speaking of that, you know, I just said that they, they changed their name from Morgan's Wonderland to Morgan's because right. they have much more there mm -hmm. than just the amusement park. But when we're talking about the amusement park, it is closed down, it's under renovations, then it's going to be reopened this spring to be bigger and better. When the weather is a little bit warmer. When the weather 